This math talk discusses the second of our exponent rules, and it begins with the question, write 2 to the exponent 7 divided by 2 to the exponent 3 as a single power. So we are really looking at division of powers with the same base. And we will attack this question by doing what we did with the uh, multiplication law. We will start by expanding the two powers. So 2 to the 7 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we have to do this 7 times. So there's 6, and there's 7. And so that 2 to the 7 is expanded here. Then what we're going to do is draw a big long division bar to show the division, like that. And we're going to expand the 2 to the exponent 3 underneath. 2 times 2 times 2. And so uh, our 2 to the exponent 3 is this right here. So that's the expansion of the two powers. Now what we do is we look at reducing these two expressions, these two expressions, by considering the fact that uh, with um, fractions or rational numbers, common factors can be divided from top and bottom. Here we go. 2 divides with a 2 to leave a 1 and a 1. 2 divides with a 2 to leave a 1 and a 1. 2 divides with a 2 to leave a 1 and a 1. So in fact, what we have left in the numerator is 1 times 1 times 1 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that amounts to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Our denominator would be 1 times 1 times 1. Well, I don't usually write in a denominator of 1, so I'm going to leave it out for now. And look at what we have left. We have a repeated multiplication of four twos together. Well, by definition of powers, we would write that as 2 to the exponent 4. Now, many of you are looking at this and saying, wait a second, isn't there a connection between the 7 and the 3? Don't we have a connection there to this 4? Well, absolutely. And that leads us to our second rule. And it looks like this. a to the exponent m divided by a to the exponent n is a to the exponent m subtract n. And I want to highlight what's very, very important here. That is that first you're dealing with two powers that share the same base. And your final answer has that base as well. So in words we would state it this way. When dividing two powers with the same base, keep the base the same and subtract the exponents. Keep the base the same, subtract the exponents. Let's look at some examples. So I want you to consider these four examples. And once again, let's restate that law. When dividing two powers with the same base, keep the base the same, subtract the exponents. Here we go. Looking at 4 to the exponent th uh, 7 divided by 4 to the exponent 3. Well, they have the same base. I'll keep that base the same, and I'll subtract the exponents. 7 subtract 3 is 4. 4 to the exponent 4. In the second example, negative 5 to the 9 divided by negative 5 to the 3. Once again, the base is the same. I leave it alone. I keep it the same. 9 subtract 3 is 6. I just subtract those exponents. With powers of 10, it works the same way. The base is 10, we leave that alone. 10 to the 80 divided by 10 to the 15, 80 subtract 15 is 65. We can extend that to variables as well. I have p to the exponent 20 times p to the exponent 30 divided by p to the exponent 45. So I'm actually bringing in our previous rule, the multiplication rule, and combining it with the division rule. And here's how it works. I look at the top, the numerator, and I am simply looking at p to the 20 times p to the 30. So I'm using my rule from before, which says keep the base the same, add the exponents, 
20 plus 30 is 50. Then, after I'm finished, I will perform my division rule. So I've got p to the 50 divided by p to the 45, keep the base the same, subtract the exponents. 50 subtract 45 is 5. It's as easy as that, and I'm out of time.